Definitely nobody is born as the perfect FC player. You have to climb the ladder step by step and learn new things. I know this because I've been walking the same path by myself. Started off as a silver player back then, improved myself every single day, and now I'm a consistent elite division player, have been coaching for several years now, and have the privilege to share my knowledge with you guys on this channel, The Guide. With today's video, I'm going to give you the ultimate focus points that you need to know for every skill level to become much better, so we can walk a similar path. Starting off with divisions 10 to 7. Like every other game, FC has unique mechanics with different difficulties. At this stage, your aim should be to learn the fundamentals, which are pretty much the basics of the game. Remember, without mastering the basics, you won't be able to progress and get stuck in the same level. Maybe this could have been your issue for a while now. Anyways, let me give you two very basic examples, one for offense and the other for the defense. The direction your player faces is a huge factor when it comes to the offense. Yes, you can press the buttons anytime you want, but if you try to pass or even shoot the ball into a direction you're not facing, you will see that the accuracy and the power decreases. So, you need to make this clear and tell yourself, okay, if I'm ever going to pass or shoot the ball into a direction, first I need to turn myself towards there. Take an extra step or two if you have to, but still remember this rule. On the other side of the pitch while defending, learn how to use the jockeying. This is probably the most important defensive mechanic you will have to learn at the start. Holding on to the L2 LT button gives your players a defensive stance, which will allow them to defend and mirror the opponent better. So instead of running around the dribbler and gambling unconsciously, make sure to get in front of him and use the jockey button to give yourself a defensive advantage. Basic mechanics like these are pretty much straightforward. However, one of the major issues I've seen with the beginner stage is that the players sometimes can't execute the simplest mechanics properly because they don't have the hand-eye coordination. That means even if you think of a right move, you can't get it to work just because you have given a different input with your fingers. The solution to this coordination problem is to practice, and thanks to skill games, we have plenty of options to fulfill that goal. Go to the Learn to Play tab and head into the skill games, where you will find multiple practice opportunities for different sections of the game. After doing repetitive drills, you will realize that you become much more consistent with them, and the success ratio will highly increase in your online matches. After you learn the simple mechanics, then you need to start using them together as a whole. Heading to the Division 6-3, you will have to work with a better game understanding. This understanding is again based on the simple mechanics, but this time much faster. The passing traffic in your offense is a very good example for this. With the advice from the beginner stage, you can go for a pass, and right after, you can identify your next passing target. While the ball is traveling, you will have some time to take a brief look at the pitch, see who is free to identify them as the next target, and as an extra, control the ball into that potential passing direction, and already prepare the next pass. Getting used to this gives you a huge advantage. On the defensive side, you need to have a good shape. That means you need to control your urge of winning the ball, and instead of going into a wild defensive challenge, you need to wait for the right time. You shouldn't rush out with the defender unless it's completely necessary. Breaking the shape while rushing out with the defender could be easily punished, so make sure you stand your ground firmly. Same goes for the tackling. If the opponent securely has the ball at their feet, don't rush into a tackle. Wait for the moment that they risk that control by pushing the ball a bit away from themselves. To give you a better understanding, we have started an expanding course on the Guide Plus, where we execute specific ideas and mechanics with the live commentary and show you in real time how they can be used properly. If you don't want to miss it, make sure to check the links in the description. Moving on to the Divisions 2 and 1, you might have to differentiate stronger mechanics from the weakers. Yes, every single mechanic has its use in FC, but over the years, some of them can overrule the others, and this is what we call the meta, which stands for most effective tactics available. The most efficient way to follow here is to focus on both sides of the coin. For example, this year the cutbacks have been extremely strong. You head towards the wing, make your way towards the goal line, and suddenly turn around and pass the ball to a player who is coming from the back or is already inside the box in a proper position. You can score many goals with this overpowered mechanic easily, but you also need to learn how to defend the meta moves. Let's continue with the cutbacks again. In case you are saying that you can't defend the dribbler and the potential receiver at the same time, then you didn't do your research properly. While manually defending the dribbler, you can tap the R1, RB button twice and hold it down after the second tap to activate the partial team press, which will get your AI control defenders closer to the potential passing targets. Knowing and getting used to it changes the tide into your favor. One other clear advice that I can give to you at this stage is not to do the same mechanic all over again. They might work until a point, but getting stuck to one attacking style or mechanic will also get you stuck. Learn multiple methods and keep changing them in your rotation. 
because this will be the key to become an elite division player in FC24. After practicing hard and reaching out a level, you and the opponents will know the most of the mechanics and the meta of the game. The game will become like a chess match and you have to think about your game plan more than ever. Usually in the first minutes of the games, the opponents show their tendencies and how they like to play the game. Make sure to make an analysis for both defense and offense and weaponize these analyses against them. For example, if you see a player who likes to dribble way too much, then you can prioritize defending the dribbling in the next positions. However, that doesn't mean you're allowed to leave the other option wide open. Try to approach the opponent on his dribbling lane while also covering a potential pass. See, this way you defend both opportunities even if you prior one over the other. Or in their defense, if they like to become really aggressive and press up high, don't panic. Make sure you distribute the ball with the side passes towards your teammates and try to fill the gaps they created with their aggressiveness. Remember, for every move, there is a counter move. You can also take some risks and learn how to bait them. Try to give the opponent a clear intention that you are making a move towards your comfort zone. This will trigger their tendencies, but the upside is, you will know what is going to happen beforehand. With this information, you can bait the opponent into one direction and execute the initial plan in your head. Last but definitely not the least, keep your mental strong. When you become better, you will rank up and face tougher opponents than before. So instead of complaining or getting frustrated after a loss, make sure to learn out of it and correct your mistakes in the next games. You can save your games on your PC or console and watch it afterwards to see what went wrong. With a strong mind comes clarity and only then you can play FC24 with your maximum potential. Talking about the matches similar to the chess games, do you actually realize how strategic FC24 is and have you wondered why? Then I would only recommend watching our latest video that appears on your screen right now to receive answers to those questions in your head. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, take care and peace.